my desk? Well, so happy to explain it to you. But first, I want you to imagine a Monopoly board. You know, uh, it's like 10 or 12 uh, spaces to a side, lots of pieces of real estate that you could purchase as you take your little thimble or your little dog and go around the board. Uh, gobbling up properties, building houses and hotels, and occasionally landing on a square that requires you to pull a community chest or chance card. Well, we've taken those cards and turned them into their very own game. You take the first community chest card, uh, keep it, or choose to take a second. If you don't like that one, you can take a chance, but you're stuck with that card. The only thing is my kids, uh, in an attempt to clean up quickly here in the monkey house, they mixed in a few cards from other games, including Cat Lady, Old Maid, and several others, which means I have no idea what kind of card you're going to draw for each one of these. You're just going to have to pick and see. Oh, and speaking of which, here comes our next contestant now. Joining us all the way from Texas, say hello, me monkey dots, to Mallory. It's Mallory. Hi. Hey, Mallory, how are you? Good. Great, welcome to the Bucky House. Uh, have you ever finished a game of Monopoly, Mallory? Yes. You really? Like, how? How many days did it take? A long time. Yeah, I bet. I mean, was this one where you, in the middle of the game, everyone just had to take a break and go live your lives for a while and then come back? Or did you play the game straight without stopping? It took a long time and we had to take a break. Yeah, I don't blame you. Totally. Like, you go off, you go do two or three years of college, then you come home for the holidays, play another, you know, year's worth of Monopoly, then you go off, you have a family of your own, you bring them back. You know, it takes 40, 50 years to finish a typical game of Monopoly. Well, Mallory, uh, I'm excited for you to play this much quicker version of Monopoly called Community Chess. But I got to ask you, are you feeling lucky? Yes. Yeah. Oh, good. Well, that's great. I mean, uh, luck is a big part of it. So if you're feeling lucky, I have no doubt you're going to do great. Uh, do us a favor, Mallory. Take the top card off the community chest deck and just hand it over to me. Great. That's perfect. Thank you. I've got it. And, uh, oh, no. Well, as I said, Mallory, it's all in the luck of the draw. And, unfortunately, your luck is uh, it's not looking great so far. Uh, okay, community chest card. Uh, this is a picture of old Uncle Milton Pennybags. He's the guy that ordinarily at Community Chest is wearing a big suit with a big top hat and a tie, and he's got his cane, but not today. He is wearing what can only charitably be called prison garb because he is holding on to the bars, and underneath him it says, Go to jail. Go directly to jail. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Mallory, I regret to inform you, you are now in jail. I'm so sorry. Are, are, how are you doing in there? Good. How's the food? Not so good. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> well, I have a guess of what you're going to do next, but I don't want to guess for you. Uh, do you want to stop here in jail, Mallory, or do you want to trade in this card and go for the second community chess card? Trade in this card. Yeah, I think it's probably a safe bet. Good. Okay, we'll put that one down. And let me pull out the second card. Uh, oh, interesting. Now, this card on the top of the deck, uh, this is not even a community chess card, Mallory. This is a black Uno card. It's a black card with some rainbow stripes on it. It says Uno very clearly on there. And when I flip it over, it has a big R on it for reverse. Hmm. What do you think we should do with that card, Mallory? Get out of jail. Oh, I see. So the reverse card undoes what just happened on the last card? Yes. Oh, okay. So, but you got to make the uh, the reverse sound effect of, like, rolling the tape back to undo that last one. So you just go... Give that a try, Mallory. Oh, audience, Mallory is now a free person. Mallory's out of jail. Wow. Congratulations. It's like a little time machine. You just had an undo button, Mallory. Well, you're right back where you started. You have nothing, uh, but you're also not incarcerated, so that's pretty good. Um, you could stop now, or you could take a chance. Now, remember, you cannot do anything after you take a chance. You have to do what's on that card, and you're stuck with it. Do you want to stop now, or do you want to take a chance? Yep. Take a chance. Oh, I like your moxie, kid. All right, go ahead and take that chance card off the top and hand it over to me when you're ready. Okay, there you go. Uh, Thank you very much. Oh, interesting. Uh, this is actually not a chance card. Are you sure you got this from the chance deck, Mallory? Yes. It was right there on top. Oh, interesting. Uh, this card is very clearly a card from the game of life. It's pink, 
Uh, and it says the word pet on the top of it. Um, there's a couple of uh, green-looking pegs. One looks like a cat with sunglasses. One looks like a dog with sunglasses. Shall I flip this thing over, Mallory? Yes. Okay. Uh, interesting. Um, there is a <laughs> there's a picture, full color, of a uh, looks like a dog riding a two-wheeled scooter. And underneath it, oh, and that dog has a beach ball balance on its head. <laughs> and it says, Pet Talent Show. Pick an opponent. Both say your pet's talent. And then we'll see which one's the better talent. I guess we'll have the audience vote. Um, okay, so pick an opponent, Mallory. Who are you going to go against? Mm, my dog, Macy. Well, oh, great. Oh, wait, so that's the, that's the pet that you're going to go with. I guess I'm your only opponent in this game, though, because I'm the only the other one here so i guess i'll go with my cat bert so on the count of three we've got to say what our pet's talent is and then we'll turn it over to the audience to see uh which one they think is a better talent you ready mallory so mallory i'm gonna say i'm gonna say one two three and then you say whatever talent you want your pet to do in the talent show make sense oh mallory are you there yeah Okay, great. Yeah, so uh, you're going to say your pet's talent on a count of three. Here we go. One, two, three. Sleeping. Jumping through a hoop. Oh, oh whoops. Okay. <laughs> I guess I set my sights kind of low. Uh, I said sleeping. That's what my cat bird does best. And you said that your dog is going to jump through a hoop? Mm-hmm. No? Okay, I think I... He's a poodle. Oh, man, a poodle jumping. Okay. Um... Let's turn this one over to the audience. Audience, let's use the old applause meter um, Put your paws together for my cat, Bert, who does Olympic-level sleeping. He'll sleep through anything. Let's hear it for Bert, audience. Okay. Oh, that's pretty good. That's a good showing. Not better than I would have guessed. Okay, and um, now a, sh a show of applause there, audience, for Mallory's poodle, who is jumping through a hoop. Let's hear it for Mallory's dog jumping through a hoop, audience. Oh. Yeah, I, Mallory, I, Mallory, I, I'm pretty sure that that was louder, which means, Mallory, you just won the Pet Talent Show. How do you feel? Good. Congratulations. And tell us your poodle's name again. Macy. Macy. Audience, a special round of applause to Macy in Texas. Yeah.